thanks, give thanks. So in terms of um, what other parts of Haile Selassie Chad do you think co you know, because people will say that when the Messiah come, peace on earth, um, you know, certain things should should manifest. How would the eye respond to All right. the, the, the life of his majesty? How does it meet the challenge you've you've outlined the prophecy All right. correlated to there the is historical a dilemma. Fact. There is a dilemma. And I beg here that today what we share might be fine of great interest to the listeners who may use this opportunity to re-examine certain issues. For example, churchically and theologically, whether it be Adventist or a Sunday worship, I go further, whether it even be the Orthodox Church, they are ignorant of one great thing. Their ignorance is that they don't know that Christ must be born twice into the planet Earth. Their confusion is that they have fused, you know what I mean? They have fused Isaiah 7 verse 14, which is a reference to the Lamb, to Isaiah 9, 6 and 7. And that is where the confusion is. Because by careful study, they are separate. The Lamb must be born in Bethlehem of Judea. Geographically, we say Palestine, an ancient land of Canaan. No, we say Isaiah 9 verse 6 and 7 could not be for that advent. Because, for example, if you examine the birth of the Lamb at the cutoff at the age of 33, that man was not politically inclined or governmentally. He was only expressing the kingdom of heaven. Foxes of hoes, birds of nests, the son of man do have nowhere to rest. That means he was not a man born in affluence. Mm -hmm. Will I say more in a poverty way, poor way? And history will prove that. So the Rastafari is saying now that I and I, by name and by faith now, is joined to Isaiah 9, chapter 9, verses 6 and 7. Verse 6 of Isaiah 9 said, For unto us a child is born, and to us a son is given. Now you're the big bang. But the government shall be upon his shoulder. His name shall be called what? The mighty God. That's what the last man, not a born God. It's a great blasphemous offense. Mighty God, everlasting Father, and the Prince of Peace. So if one now should seek to amalgamate their agenda to Jesus Christus of Nazareth 2,000 years ago, you know two things is lacking? We would question, where was the government that was on his shoulder? If you look at it politically and geographically, the governments were in two realms. The government of Israel was, was under the priesthood that was in captivity by yes. Rome. History will show that. So there was a separation of the Roman and the Hebrews. So it couldn't be proven that Christ even sit upon the throne of David. So we say now that there is a bridge, spiritualized speak, there's a bridge now that separator brings you from the first dispensation of Isaiah 7, the Lamb into Bethlehem, to where we say now Isaiah 9, in diaspora, the bridge would be supplied theologically with Hebrews chapter 9, verse 7. It says here, For Christ, which is Jesus, was once offered up to bear the sins of many. You would examine what it means. It refer you to the crucifixion period and what happened. But unto them, that look for him, which is a Christ, that is reason and ascended, he shall appear the second time without sin unto salvation. That brings you now to where we are. The birth of Isaiah 9, verse 6, is the 23rd of July, 1892. Yeah, the birth of Lij in America, it is Lij, Prince Tafari, nine child of Rasmakon and Yeshimabet. All that came before perish. He is alone that live forever until he ate of age three instead of death, a meticulous translation from terrestrial to extraterrestrial, because that is the mystery of Haile Selassie I. So it is I and I now that must continue that track, because see, there's many things that is, is, is out of course. For example, Christianity, the Christians. Yes. If it is properly defined to a man like me, it shouldn't be Chris. Because there's a big difference with Chris and Christ. Mm. Christ means saver, Chris is a man name. So when they say the Christian, it should mean the followers of Christ. Though they were first called Christians in Antioch, representing the Hellenic spirit, it, go, it went further than that because the Christ act started in Bethlehem. He was the Messiah. Yes. He had 12 virgins around for some reason. And, that, and even after his death and resurrection, no, the, the Christ act was continued in the preaching of Yeshua in the resurrection. 
Rome had nothing to do with that. Rome only joined the wagon in the advent of um, Constantino, who was a Catholic, a Catholicism mean paganism, idolatry. So it couldn't be that the Rome of the Church of Rome represent Christianity. Not a thing no go so. You know what is the big problem today? My brethren and sisters that are in the churches. Red as seven day Adventist church, keepers of the Sabbath, are in Sunday church that are called Christians. You know what is you know what you know what is the mind boggling issue, you know? I judge they are the Antichrist. Okay. But is it to say to stigmatize or to condemn or to disrespect? No. But true intelligence, the word anti should mean against. Mm. So what if what I and I say, you know, that I and I say that's why the first is a return messiah. The, the, the accolades, the titles, the divinity of his name, all of this is evidence. Because we're not, we're not relating about a phantom. So you know that is in the church. And you say, Jesus is my Lord and Savior. For your born master, say, Lord, you are dead, my lad. We have a problem. Because this is why it is said, my people are destroyed. My people, not all the people, my people, his own are destroyed because lack of knowledge. Why? Because they have rejected knowledge. The church people don't want to hear that Eli Selassie is the returned Messiah. And not only that, not only this belief, they have gone further to curse the man and fight the man. Not being mindful that out of that ignorance, so it puts him in a dangerous position according to the book of St. Jude. You know what he He shall come, man, to convince all those that are ungodly. And of all they are the speeches that they have made against him, the people are doomed. 1999, I was here. Bujubant and run and came here too. You know what he was running from? He said, Jesus was coming. <laughs> Nasadamus have a book that prognosticate what and what should happen. Why 2K, things shut down. And the churches were filled. Burst at the seams. All who never believe in a God, run gone because them say Jesus is coming in 1999. And all know me fold me and I'm a bonus by me say, where is he? He passed by yet. <laughs>